93% of American children go trick-or-treating, and half of them say they want chocolate. So bring on the M&Ms. Take a look at how these classic candies are made by the millions. It's one of the food world's most well-known slogans. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. And it goes along with one of the world's most craved candies. M&Ms are definitely a part of American culture, and currently they're in everything from the Academy Awards to New Year's Eve celebrations to NASCAR, pretty much every big special event you can think of, you'll find M&Ms. So aside from the snappy slogan, how did these tiny treats become such a big hit? Well, the story actually starts when candy maker Forrest Mars visited wartime Spain in the late 1930s. He saw soldiers eating chocolate pellets covered with sugar, and it didn't melt. And he was inspired by that idea. By 1941, Mars was churning out his own version of candy-coated chocolate stateside. And he did initially have a partner, which is where the name comes from. The M stands for Forrest Mars Sr. and Bernie Murray, his partner. Today, M&M Mars is making around one billion M&Ms every day. To put it in further perspective, if we put all the M&Ms end to end that we make in the course of the year, it would encircle the earth 48 times. And at their facility in Hackettstown, New Jersey, the 12-hour M&M making process starts with the chocolate. A mix made from milk, sugar, and cocoa first rolls through refiners, turning the semi-liquid paste into powder. Then, powder conveys its way down to the conch room, where giant containers filled with metal beads grind up the powder with cocoa butter and chocolate liqueur. The end result, a smooth semi-solid chocolate ready for depositing into tiny bean-shaped sheets. We call it a lentil shape, and we think the lentil shape is the best shape to ensure that the sugar cell is put on in a consistent and even fashion. Now the step of putting on the first coat of candy is top secret. But once the chocolate centers have their first sweet coat on, it's time for them to take a tumble. Here, extra layers of color are shellacked onto the shells. Next, candies get christened with their own little letters. And then all the different colors blend together before being bagged. But this is not a random assortment of sweet colors. A bag of M&Ms contains exactly 25% orange, 25% blue, and 12.5% of brown, red, yellow, and green candies. And different colors do come and go as tastes change over the years. We actually have specialists who are trained in color, and they keep uh, very close to all the color trends and make sure that all our colors stay very current and very contemporary. 